In this live stream, we're going to be playing Siamese Mahjong. Siamese Mahjong is American Mahjong with two players playing two hands at one time. If you'd like to see how to set this up and play the game, look for information below the video. If you also would like to try playing at Mahjong time, look for my email in the video description and I'll send you a 30-day VIP code so you can try it out. In this live stream, there will be chatter with the viewing audience, so it will be more of a social atmosphere. I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you do not see the word live in the upper corner, then you are watching the repost. Let's get the live stream started. Just waiting for YouTube to catch up. There we go. We are live. So I'm hoping to play some games for Siamese Mahjong. It looks like there are quite a few tables going. You can always play against robots. Now, robots do not play a strategic game, though. So you're really playing to win your own hands. So you don't have to worry so much about what your opponent is doing when you're playing with a bot. But when you're playing with another person, it's a different game. So be prepared for that. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing Siamese Mahjong tonight. Hello, Carol. How are you? Have you been playing Siamese Mahjong yet? I remember seeing you in Mahjong time, but I'm not sure about Siamese Mahjong. Let me know. It really is a lot of fun. It's quite challenging, I think. Welcome to the live stream if you're just joining us. We're going to be playing Siamese Mahjong tonight. And I am hoping to compare a few strategies with these games. So I want to try not to play with robots. Hi, Greg. Oh, that's okay, Greg. We'll, we'll see if we can play against real players. Hello, Irene. Welcome to the live stream. And I'm hoping that the sound is okay. I'm getting used to this uh, mic microphone here, my hand-me-down microphone. Sometimes I get a little close to it, but I think I'm learning. Hello, Laura. Does anybody have a Mahjong? Okay, thank you, Greg. Hi, Alyeska, welcome to the live stream. Do I do, let's see, do you be grand tonight? I don't know what that means. Um, oh, okay, all right, Carol. Okay, uh, Carol, send me an email about your Mahjong time, time trial and I'll have a, I'll request a reset because I would like for you to try it out. And yeah. I don't know what the problem might have been, but uh, we can chat offline about it. Hi, Nancy. Welcome to the live stream. I think I'll go ahead and just join a table. Even if it's against a, blo a bot, we can do a Q&A for anybody who's new to Siamese Mahjong. I'm just going to go ahead and join a table. Hi, Chris. It's good to see you. Happy St. Patty's Day. By the way, uh, no pinches for me. I am wearing green in my pants. I'm wearing a black shirt, but I am wearing green. Oh, and I also have a green bracelet. It's um, a stone, Avertine, I think it's called, for good luck. Let's see here. Irene says that you've been playing with a few friends, and you think it's a hoot. It is a hoot. Hi, Peggy. Welcome to the live stream. So we're just waiting for a bot to join us or a player. If, uh, if, a, if you wait, I, I'm not sure what the time frame is. If you wait more than a minute or two minutes, a robot will join the game. 
So we'll see what happens. We shouldn't have to wait too awful long. But um, I don't know if you all noticed, but there was a post on uh, Facebook. I, I think it was on Mahjong That's It. Uh, Jamie Joy posted a photo of us playing Royal Siamese Mahjong. Basically, it's head-to-head -head Siamese Royal style. So we played four hands at one time and used two sets. It was pretty crazy. It was, wow, it was pretty uh, overwhelming at first. But, you know, I held my own against a, uh, an amazing player. Jamie is an amazing player. Hi, Katie. I hope you enjoyed the live stream. We're just waiting. You play at the Senior Center. Excellent. Hi, Nancy. Wel welcome and happy St. Patty's Day. Oh, it's an Irish greeting. Oh, well, that's nice. I want to, let me see, what was that now? That's kind of cool. Let's see here. Oh, Irene, I see you're trying to learn scoring. Yeah, the scoring is a little bit, well, it's different, so it's a little uncomfortable. Um, but basically, since we're waiting for a player, when you, so the goal is to win two hands. The first player to have two winning hands ends the game. So if each player has one hand, they each get the value for that hand, whatever the value is on the card. If one of the players has two winning hands and one was exposed already, one was declared and the second one came later. Um, oh, somebody, all right, I'm gonna get out of here real quick. Okay, so let's say that you expose, you declare Mahjong and then you're working on your second hand. If you win that second hand and declare Mahjong, the second hand will be double value. And if your opponent discarded the tile, there's an additional negative 20 points. There's also a doubling scoring element where if a player holds on to a mahjong for their second mahjong and they declare mahjong at the same time, a simultaneous mahjong or double mahjong, they will get double the value for both of those hands. If the opponent discarded that tile for the winning hand, whichever one it is, they would get negative 20 as well. So in a nutshell, that is how the, scout, the scoring works. So I hope that makes sense. Sometimes it's easier to hear it than it is to read it because there's a lot of if this, then that, which can be a little overwhelming. So let's see if someone will join this table. Oh, do you be grand? Do you be grand? Interesting, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're getting started now. All right, I'm gonna turn my sound down just a little bit. All right, now, when I personally play, I like to set my tiles up this way. I, um, I hold my shift key down and I click on tiles to move them to the different racks. So I put my jokers first then my wins and dragons next. So I want my wins up and then I put dots and bams below and cracks are with the wins and dragons. So you can arrange your tiles pretty quickly just by holding your shift key down and clicking on the tiles. And then once you get them on the right racks, you click the sort button and it will sort them for you in numerical order. And that way you can get the lay of the land. So now what I do is I look for the strengths of the tiles and really the pung of sevens is the strongest. Then we have a lot of singles, a lot of um, consecutive run I see. We do have some year capability, but not much. I'm thinking seven, eight, nine or seven, eight, nine consecutive run or two, four, six, eight year hand or one through five 
consecutive runs. So that's kind of what I'm feeling here. So I'm going to hold six through nine on top with winds and dragons, and I'll hold all my little numbers on bottom. We could maybe even use that six there. So we'll do six through nine up there just to kind of even things out. We'll hold those down here. So I am thinking uh, that I'll get rid of the six dot to start the game. You have to make decisions, I believe in the onset, two minutes. You have two minutes to make a decision for your first discard. If you do not make a decision Excuse quick me. enough, the game will discard for you. And then thereafter, you will have you will have one minute per pick to make a decision. I believe that is the way it works. Okay, uh, player B always get credit for one Mahjong even though player A does a double. If, if player B has a winning hand, they will get credit for it, yes. Okay, so I have a setting on my in my Siamese settings to double click my discard. That way as I'm moving tiles around, the game doesn't think that just because I touch a tile, I'm, I want to discard it. So I, I selected to have a double click for discard on my um, settings. So that's why I'm double clicking on my tile to discard. So keep that also in mind. You do have some customization available to you through settings. Nine characters. Okay, so we're not ready. I'm not ready to claim anything. I have no idea what I am playing at the moment. I'm thinking a five, uh, five, seven, nine, uh, big odds hand might be good. And then, then I think I'll go ahead and get rid of the wins at this point. But I'm thinking Sounds five, good. seven, nine, and maybe two, four, six, eight. Even though I, I did give away a couple of tiles, I believe I gave away a six dot and a four crack, but I'm okay with that. The two four, or the big odd hand I'm thinking of is the concealed hand. We finally got a multiple. Let's get rid of the eight bam. We have a multiple with the three. Eight so bam. we could maybe do like numbers with threes. We could do consecutive run, two, three, or three, four. We do have dragons that we might be no, able to no. use. I think we could go ahead and get rid of the Two, four, six, eight option. Eight Let's work on consecutive run around two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. Let's just see what shakes Make out. Uh, let's go ahead and discard the wins. So I'm Make thinking win. the five, five, seven, nine hand with dragons might be good, and that would leverage that pung of sevens. Eight characters. Okay, so again, uh, let's see, we'll get rid of the south. So again, if any player has a valid Mahjong declared, they will get credit for the score for that particular hand. And it would it would offset the final score of the session. On Siamese Mahjong, when you play online, whichever player has the most points, they win the dragon chips. So it's a little different compared to a live game. Three dots. Okay, I am not going to cl claim that. I'm going to stay concealed. I'm going to stay concealed. I'm even thinking that maybe we could play like numbers with sevens and switch to the flowers down here for the two, three concealed pung hand because then we can use the dragons up with our sevens. One dot. And the, since the nines are out, we're going to need jokers for those. So let's go ahead and get rid of the one bam. So I'm thinking the like number hand with sevens and dragons. That would use one all bam. three of those dragons, which might help us get to a winning hand eventually. Let's hope. So I think that might look a little better. And that way we can use the flowers down here with the two, three, two, three pungs. And then we can get rid of the four fives. So I'm thinking to get of get, getting rid of the five nine and the one here. Two bamboos. So instead of playing big odds, we switch to like numbers, and then consecutive run with little numbers on the bottom. That's kind of my plan of action here. You want to just try to be the first person to win two hands. Four bamboos. Okay, we got a flower. 
We could play like numbers with flowers oh, as well. There are three hands in the like number category. One has no flowers and two do Six. have flowers. So I'm going to hold it. All right. We do not need that three. Let's get rid of the nine. Let's focus on like numbers with sevens. Nine. Since we have a two bam, pair of two bams, pung of three dots, I think we should go ahead and really commit to that particular hand. So that would be the concealed hand under consecutive nine, run. Nine, so we do not need that eight. Hi, Mary. Welcome to the live stream. Eight bamboos. So we ha right now we have six discards. One bamboo. We don't need wins. South wind. So we need to get rid of all these fours down here. I think I'll hold the fours though, just to see. Because we could potentially three switch to three, four. We keep getting the wins. North wind. They're helpful if you're playing wins or your hand. Sometimes. Six characters. So we need sevens, dragons, twos and threes. Six bamboos. Hi, Josh. You've started to play American Mahjong thanks to the videos. That's awesome. I hope they've been helpful. Look, we got a seven dot. Oh, that's very good. Seven, seven dot, I wanted that up there. So we have a pair of seven dots. We do have a flower, so we could potentially play the like numbers with sevens and the dragon for the offsuit, which would be in the case of seven dot, seven crack, we would need the green dragon. So I'm just gonna hold tight. I'm not gonna claim any discards. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a white dragon. I think definitely the concealed hand is going to be the best. So at some point we can get rid of the, this flower. We only need a pair of flowers for the concealed pung hand. And we can use all these jokers in both hands. There's another one. Let's get rid of the five. So we have four discards at the moment. Yes, the like numbers with the flowers, the first one and the dragon it is an bamboos. option. There are no uh, green dragons out right now, so I'm just going to hold That's tight green. on that. The reason I'm thinking of the concealed hand is because we have a pair of, of white oh, dragons. Man. We'd have to throw that away. I would rather use it. So now we're in between oh, three, four, and two, three. That's why I wanted to hold the fours. So let's see whichever one we get first we'll, we'll play. So I think at this point we can go ahead and get rid of the red dragon and still not have to make a choice with the like, uh, the like number seven hand. Oh, there's a red dragon now. Uh, we are not ready to, I don't want a Mahjong. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on the concealed hand here. So I think, um, let's see here, the sevens, Four dots. Nope, we're concealed there. Five bam can go. Five bam. So let's see if we use it like this. Nine dots. Okay, we'll pass on that. So we have seven dot. We're gonna get rid of the green dragon. Green dragon. So right now all of our our jokers or all but one are being used on top. We can move those around if I keep it concealed. That first hand is a winning Five hand, bamboos. but I wanna hold it. I wanna hold it because we're, we're kind of close. I'm gonna get rid of the four. We're one away four or dots. two away here from a double Mahjong. If we can get a two bam, three bam, or two dot, Characters. we're getting close. Okay, there's a four bam. Now I wish I had kept the four dot, but you never know. Four. There are only one two bam out right now, so I think twos are, are good. There are a lot of fours out, and that's why I went with twos instead. 
Okay, and we got that green dragon. Wouldn't you know it? Green dragon. Uh, let's see. Lori says you have a local Mahjong club. And, oh, you've learned a lot from the videos. That's great. I'm so glad. So we need twos and threes here. Two bam, three bam, Seven two dot bam. would be fabulous. Okay, and then we get the four dot. Yeah, this is how it's been going for me lately. Okay, we have two here. We need to keep an eye on the discards. One of the, the big flat, uh, red flags that go up is when your opponent discards a joker. If that ever happens and you have a winning hand, I would declare it and give up on the double mahjong. Because you want to get credit for a winning hand. That should be a safe tile. We have two discards right now. Nine characters. Okay, there's a keeper. We're one away from a double mahjong, or potential double mahjong. They could be doing the same thing. A seven or a red dragon would be nice. Eight dots. That's been thrown. Eight bamboos. So we're in the end game now, and I need to start thinking about whether or not uh, it'd be good to declare this winning hand here. Timing is pretty critical with Siamese Mahjong, because if they put up a double Mahjong, I, may not get, I won't get credit for that winning hand if I don't declare it. Green Dragon. Okay, we'll pass that. We got the two. So now we're ready to win on either a red dragon, seven bam, two dot, or two bam. Any one of those will give us a win for double mahjong. Two characters. No, that's not it. Okay, we got double mahjong. So we made it. A double Mahjong, and I want to see how tight of a race it was. So we have like numbers, which is a 30-point hand. Then we have consecutive run, which is a 30-point hand. Since it was declared simultaneously, we got double the score for both hands. Thank you, Lynn. Let's come over here and see what they were playing. So they were doing, oh, a pair hand, and they, it looks like they needed a four crack, but two of the four cracks were out, so their four crack was in the wall. They were one away from re uh, w ready to win there. They just needed that four crack, so they were actually ready to win. Then the second hand, they were trying to play five, seven, seven, nine, the second hand under odds. They did have a couple of jokers, but... They basically had three discards, so there was time. I, I held out, and in this particular case, it was a good plan. It doesn't always work that way, though. Sometimes it does. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, does anybody have any questions about Siamese Mahjong and uh, how to arrange your tiles or maybe the settings? Let me just open the settings real quick so you can see. If you click the cog in the upper right corner and then go to game settings, this is where the double click on the tile to discard is. And I've found that to be very helpful because at some, um, before I selected that, the game was discarding a tile that I had clicked on that I was just trying to move. So I highly recommend that you select this feature. And you have to, I, be, I don't think that is a, a default setting. I think you have to select that. So these are the settings that I prefer. So you're welcome to try the game out and see what's comfortable for you, but this is how I like to play. All right, uh, let's see. Gotta love jokers. Yeah, they can be very helpful unless you're playing pair hands. So let's go ahead and join a game. Here we go. We're gonna play with Vivian again. So, Good luck. Okay, so I am going to sort my tiles and then I'm going to move, hold my shift key down. I'm going to click on the tiles to go up and then I will click on the tiles I want to come down 
and vice versa till they're arranged the way I like them just to get the lay of the land. Once I figure out what I want to focus on, then I'll move them accordingly if I actually pick a hand or if I actually just play by a category. So what I see here is the 998 pair hand, second from the bottom under singles and pairs. So I think that has great potential. So I'm going to set up for that and let's see. We do have a gap with no nine cracks though. Okay, the I think I'm moving a little fast for the game. It's stuck at the moment. There we go. Okay, so then the other hand, I'm thinking maybe three, four, let's see. Uh, let's see, three, six, we have a six. I'm gonna get rid of the one because one we have a six bam, six, five. I think consecutive run with fives and sixes, five, six, four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, something like that. So we've got the makings here of nine, nine, eight pair hand. I'll put it in order of the card so you can see. Look what we just got. We just got that. Okay, let's get rid of the two. We just got the nine. Two dots. So there's the nine, nine, eight pair hand coming in. We need a nine crack and an eight crack. Um, or maybe a seven, yeah, a nine crack and eight crack would be perfect. So we do have some potential here with three, six, nine, but our nines are below. Two so I don't think I would do three, six, nine. Let's see, three, four, five, three. Let's get rid of the three. Three characters. We could play something knitted, five, six, seven. We could use these jokers as dragons so i think we could get rid of the four three and focus on five six seven okay here we have a flower we could play like numbers with sixes three we have a ways to go on our second hand but we're playing a pair hand i'm okay with that yes uh, laura that is correct if you're a winning hand is jokerless and you're able to use jokers for that particular hand you will get double value we're looking for a nine crack and an eight crack specifically for this pair hand let's see here we have two jokers i do not want to play a pair hand i was tempted to look at the news consecutive pair hand but we'd have to throw away two jokers i i don't i don't think i want to do that so i think probably we should get rid of these wins our opponent is not playing wins. I think probably like numbers with sixes would be great if we can get some more flowers or dragons. The right dragon. We need red dragons or, or more sixes. Come. If we get a seven, seven. bam we might be able to play the Mixuk Kong hand. That way we can leverage the flowers. That might even be a better idea. If we can get a seven bam, we can move this seven dot More up bam. top. Let's see what happens here. Nobody wants wins. These are all safe discards. East win. So I'm thinking five, six, seven consecutive run Mixuk Kong hand, fifth hand Seven's down. Win. As oh look, we got uh, we got the red dragon. So that would be good for like numbers with sixes, and we could use the fives for joker bait. Unless we get a seven dot or a seven bam, we have some flexibility. We do not need a two bam. I think we could get rid of the wins first. Just get rid of, get those out of the way, and focus on five, six, seven, and then nine, nine, eight pair hand. All these, all these up top can go. The seven crack. Okay, there's another flower. We'll get rid of the West. I'm thinking like numbers with six flowers, maybe. West wind. We definitely need more flowers, though. Nine bamboos. Okay, there's a five. Let's get rid of the North. This five north is consecutive. Wind. We could do five, six, five, six if we can get six cracks. Five, six, five, six, six consecutive from Pung Hand. 
the concealed hand, that's a possibility. I am not going to use my jokers for that. I'm going to stay concealed. Okay, there is a six. So we're going to get rid of the north. I think we can focus on probably like numbers with sixes. We can maybe use the five as joker bait. One character. Let's get rid of the seven crack. Okay, there is a seven ban. Seven so now characters. we could potentially use the seven dot up top. Let's see. Four, five, six, seven. Consecutive red mix suit cons. There's the red. Okay, now. Five okay, get that up there. Okay, here we go. So, nine, nine, eight. We don't need the eight dot. We can discard that. Five characters. We'll pass on that. So, we can Kong the sixes. None are out. We could even use one of these dra uh, jokers for the red dragon. We don't need that nine. We're, we're playing a pair nine hand down nine. here. We need a nine crack and an eight crack. That's the only weakness right now for that pair hand. Let's see. Yeah, nine crack, eight crack. Those are needed badly at the moment. This 987, though, is giving us some flexibility. I think we should focus on like numbers with sixes and use the seven dot down here to help with flexibility just in case uh, something kooky happens. I don't know. Maybe some jokers will show up that we can do a swap with. Who knows? Um, I think we're waiting on a discard. So I think like numbers with sixes, either the six flowers or the dragons, one or the other. Oh, sorry, not the dragon, the first one with flowers. We're kind of in between. If we get a flower, I think we should go for like numbers with flowers. North if we wind. get the dragon, we should play the first hand with the dragons. Green dragon. Let's just see what happens. Oh, we got the eight. We'll get rid of the five. So Five we have cards. really this right here. We have two, three discards right now. This hand, we need a nine crack. Three bamboos. We're, we're ready to win on a nine crack with the nine, nine, eight pair hand. If it does go down, I will declare Mahjong for that. Because it is a pair hand. Nine crack. You never know where that tile is in the wall. Right now we have three discards. We're still in the middle game. So we have lots of time at the moment. Three characters. We don't need two. So we're looking two for bamboos. sixes and flowers. No sixes are out right now. Eight dots. We don't need that. So that's going to be a good safe discard. I'll get rid of the eight bam. Eight bamboos. We're in the middle game, so I'm going to discard that eight dot. Eight characters. We don't need that either. We're good there. We need a nine crack. We'll get rid of the eight dot. Eight dots. This six may or may not help. We've got three discard. Well, really, we have five discards. It depends on four to five. One bamboo. We have four to five discards at the moment. Because we do not, if we go with like numbers with sixes and flowers, we don't need those dragons. If I get one more joker, though, I think we could go for the first hand or, or a dragon. Okay, we're going to Kong. Either way, we can Kong the sixes. Kong. All right, so there's one. Seven so dots. we have some flexibility here. Kong. Eight dots. 
four dots. Three characters. Three bands. Now, if you're playing a, a, a singles and pair hand, you don't get double value for that. That's built in. Four characters. As far as jokers. White we still need a nine crack down there. Okay, we got the six bam. So Five now characters. we can use this for a flower maybe. That's a higher point hand. Two bamboos. Unless we draw the red dragon. If I can get ready, I'll use the red dragon. But right now as a pair, it's not too helpful. One character. We'll see what comes in. If the red dragon is discarded, I don't know. Because right now, the, the, our opponent doesn't know what we're playing. So if we stay concealed, we can kind of be dot. stealth mode. And they won't, they won't have to, um, you know, switch their own defense to not throw our winning tile. If we have another exposure, they may be able to figure out what we're doing with a Kong of sixes and a Kong of dragons, there's only really two hands that that can be played with those particular mm -hmm. tiles. So we do not need that seven bam. Seven bamboo. I'm wondering if they're playing like, oop, they didn't want it. Nine characters. Okay, I'm gonna Mahjong on that. And we'll get rid of the six. So we have a single and pair hand. That's 50 points. And right now they're probably playing, they're playing two 25 point hands. So this could be a tie at worst. If they get, well, if they get two winning hands, they'll overtake me. Six characters. So it's, it's, okay, there's a flower. So we're going to go with the flower hand. Red dragon. We're one away from two mahjongs not a double mahjong but two mahjongs the second one will have double value if, if we can get there we still have one discard they they will have no idea what we're playing we are now in the end game they didn't want the red dragon so that's good because we have a safe discard four bamboos let's hold the red as a safe tile one bamboo. Because now we're in the end game. I want to hold tiles that are safe. They they did not want that red One dragon, bamboo. so that should be safe. The four is safe. They didn't want that either. Four dots. This Eight six dot nine. is still available. One. Character. So we need a six bam or a flower to get ready. Seven characters. Four bamboo. Twenty twenty six. So we have um, twelve twelve more picks each. Nine dots. Oh, those sixes came in. Every one of them. I think I threw six every one of those six cracks. Okay, so they have one Mahjong. Now that is a 25 point hand, so I'm still winning the game at the moment. There's our Joker. And now we can get rid of the Dragon and we're ready to win on a Flower or a Six Ban. Any Joker that is in a, in a declared winning hand, a declared Mahjong, those Jokers, okay, there's our second Mahjong. So we've got a single, value pair hand 50 points and then a double value second mahjong because they were declared at different times only the second hand is doubled so we ended up here with 110 points and we won the dragon chips because we had more points than they did any questions about that particular game 
Jokers helped on that one too. We ended up with, I think, four, uh, three Jokers, I believe, because I had one in my six dot and then two in hand. So let's see what she was trying to play here. Two, oh, knitted, no. Yeah, two, three, four knitted, and she was ready on a three dot for that hand. So she was right there with me. This was neck and neck. She was right there. Oh, and also you can see here, she got a penalty for discarding the winning tile. She did not need that flower. And so she discarded it. But if she had held out, she could have kept the flower and discarded a joker and maybe held out for a double mahjong. But I understand why she didn't do that because I had a pair hand showing. She wanted to get some credit for her winning hand and that's why she declared one of her hands because it offset the penalty to me. She ended up with five points um, after paying for my valued hands. So if she had held out for a double mahjong and not declared that winning hand, she could have gotten to that double mahjong, but if I had won it before her, she would not have gotten value for that one winning hand. So I think that was a good call on her part to declare it. It offset a big hand, a big win here. So I think she did well with that one. Hi, Katie. Well, thank you. All right. Yeah, th this game, it is definitely... It's really the same concept with American Mahjong where you use an American Mahjong card and at least online you use the National Mahjong League card but in, in real life you can use any American Mahjong card or you could actually play Siamese Mahjong or two-player Mahjong with any version but with the rules that Gladys Grad developed for this particular style of uh, two-player game um, there's a, a Siamese Mahjong card that has hands specifically for Siamese Mahjong. So that's kind of fun too. But the idea of American Mahjong is the same. You're still working with colors, letters, numbers, blocks of tiles. Multiples are the strength of the hand more times than not. There are some opportunities for singles and pairs, but the majority of the hands are going to be with Pungs, Kongs, and Quints. Especially when I think you have the ability to work with so many tiles, you can almost make a winning hand right away and then just build your second hand with whatever is left over. That's one of the strategies I wanted to kind of test out. So for the first two games that we played, I built around the multiples and went with the strength of the hand. In this next game, I want to focus on one hand one hand and whatever is left over will be the second hand and we'll, we'll focus on two at a time and just compare results. I have a friend who likes to play that way. She'll work on one hand. When she wins that hand, she then focuses on the remaining tiles and builds something different. So she can just focus on one hand at a time. Uh, and that's really just a, a player style and it's your preference. Personally, I like to play two hands at one time, but let's just test it out and see how this one feels. We'll focus on one hand at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and join a table, and I'll try to uh, not play my preferred method. I'll, I'll focus on one hand, see if we can build a mahjong regardless of what is left over, and let's just see what happens. So we are just going to wait for a player to join us. With Siamese Mahjong right now, you cannot have a custom table and you cannot invite specific people to play with you. It's just um, random. I believe they're going to build that in later. I hope that they do. But um, right now, you join a table and whoever, it's just uh, first come, first serve. And I believe if you're waiting a certain time limit a robot will join you and again when you play against robots there's no strategy with the robot they're not playing to win 
basically you're going to just play to win two hands by yourself. Um, it's really more about uh, playing against the wall than it is playing against the robot because there's no logic in their discards. Okay, we have Vivian again. So I'm going to wish Vivian luck. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. So I've sorted my tiles. I'm going to put my shift key down and then I'm going to move my tiles the way I like to. Dots down below, cracks up top, bams down below with dots. Okay, now. We'll sort. Now let's see if we can build one hand. I see seven, eight, nine, and one through five. There is some two, four, six, eight. Not very strong though. We don't have any sixes. So I think maybe an odd hand, five, seven, nine, five, seven, seven, nine. Maybe a, a big odd hand up here, or maybe seven through nine and one through five down below. We could maybe play a year hand though. Let's just look and see. So there's five, seven, nine up top, year tiles below. Let's put odds up top. Five, seven, nine, five, seven, nine up top, big odds. We don't have to pick a hand necessarily yet. And then down below, maybe a year hand. We've got all the twos. We do have a one, a one, two. Oh, look at, we've got dragons. Maybe we could play the big year hand. Oh, oh. Now I feel my, my own style coming in here. We have one, two, bams, two, eight, crack. We do have a little bit of potential for, oh, it threw my tile. I, did, I didn't know it was me. Oh, bummer. That's all right, we can re recover from that. West wind. Okay, we don't, we don't care about that so much. Okay, there's a six for some two, four, six, eight. Let's get rid of the three. Let's focus on a year hand. Three Let's build a year hand down here and see. We might even be able to play the big year hand. But I think maybe, look at, we have a 2018 already. Last win. We'll pass on that. We got the five back. L let's go ahead and get rid of uh, the West. Let's not play a year hand with news. Let's see if we can play one of the three year hands. And maybe even the big year hand. North so we have two, one, one. There's an eight. Just came in. Let's get rid of the East. So up top, we have five, seven, nine. So let's just keep focusing on one hand. Let's focus on a year hand. And then we'll deal with the aftermath and just see what happens, okay? This is one way to take the pressure off. Build one hand, get a winning hand. You don't have to declare it. Just build it until it's done and then move on to your second hand. Let's just play it out and see how it feels. You guys can tell me what you think. Okay, let's see. We have a comment. Uh, you played with a robot today and got Mahjong. It had a Kong of Jokers, Kong of Green Dragons, Kong of Six Cracks, and a pair of flowers. Oh, okay, so you had like numbers with sixes. That's very nice. We're going to hold big odds up there. It's okay to collect. If you have a vague idea of what you want to do, you might see a pattern. Go ahead and collect for the pattern, but put your effort into one hand. We're going to focus on this um, year hand. Maybe we can get rid of the four crack. That's not a year tile, so we can get rid of that before we have to decide. Let's go ahead and discard it. So down here, we, we're severely lacking dragons for the big year hand. But we do have the twos if we play the second hand down mm -hmm. under the year category. So let's get rid of the four. We picked up a red dragon, which really is not going to be very helpful. Let's move it up with our big odd hand. Maybe we could play something knitted up there. 
579 knitted. This would be the fourth hand down. There's really good, strong potential there. So as a matter, yeah, we're not ready to claim that. We'll we'll let that go. This is the only problem with playing that way. Let's get rid of the one dot. I'm thinking probably one this uh, second hand down under the year category is pretty good. Since we have no dragons one except for the red, I think we should let the big year hand go. We have to make a choice at the moment. Let's let the eight dot go. So we really don't need these eights. I'm thinking we should go ahead and commit to the year hand with twos, second hand down. We need a white dragon and two crack, two dot. I think uh, once we kind of commit to that, that hand is really pretty well set. We can maybe focus now on the big the big Call odds hand. Seven bamboos. Okay, so since that is an opportunity for knitted, let's see, no, we don't want that. We're gonna pass. There's a seven bam now. Let's get rid of the one bam. We really don't need that if we're playing the second one hand bamboo. down. We have five, seven, nine. We could play like numbers with sevens even. Like numbers with sevens and dragons, maybe. Let's see. I think probably the five, the fives oh can go here. Let's go ahead and Kong the, the two dot. Kong. We want to focus on building this, this year hand here. So Eight we could play five, seven, nine knitted with the red dragon, fourth hand down in which case we could probably get rid of these fives and the nine. We could also Four fall dots. back on like numbers with sevens. We got our joker back. Two dots. And we can get rid of the eight. Eight characters. One of the nice things about that second hand under the year hand is if you have two Kongs of twos out, they might think you're playing like numbers and not a year hand Four like dots. we are here. Oh, we got that white. This hand is ready to win. We'll get rid of the five dot. So one hand is ready to win. Let's move on to our big big hand now, the big odds hand. We have five, seven, nine, or like numbers with sevens. We're kind of in between. Nine dot. Let's get rid of the five crack. Let's five see. Characters. Since we have a pung of seven bams, I think we should focus on like numbers with sevens. Five crack, yeah, we don't have, there are two jokers available at the moment. We could still play two bam, we don't need. The nine dot, we don't need either. So we could do five, nine seven, dot. nine, five bam, seven crack, nine bam, red dragon, or like numbers with sevens. Either way, we did not use the nine, let's see, the nine crack. So I think we could go ahead and discard that before we really have to decide. Kong. Okay, eight, nine. They need white dragons or seven dot, which we have right here. Eight bamboos. We're good there. One crack we don't need. One character. They could be playing six, seven, eight, nine mixed suit, so they might need pungs of another suit. They could, you, you don't always know what they're playing with two discards or two exposures. So you could kind of think about it and watch what they're discarding to try to figure it out. But okay, there now is a dragon. So I'm thinking probably like numbers with sevens is going to leverage Eight bamboo. more of our tiles. Let's see here. What we could do is put our, we need jokers and seven dots. My concern is that they're play, playing seven, eight, nine mix suit Win. or one suit Kongs, in which case they're going to hold all those sevens, maybe. 
That's my big concern right now. In which case, 579 knitted would be better. We got a white dragon. We don't need it. Uh, let's see. Actually, we could use it. Let's let's discard the nine. Let's focus on like numbers with sevens because now we have all three dragons. So and we could leverage now. We can now leverage the pong. Nine bamboos of seven bams. There we go. That's looking a little better, I think. My only concern again at the moment is the seven eight nine potential with their first hand there. We need jokers or a seven dot to really get more comfortable with this choice. But like numbers with sevens, I think is the way to go. I'm going to get rid of these five bands. We don't need this two band here either. Eight dots. Oh, they got a joker back. Okay, they, they've got one Mahjong out. The seven dots are available. So that is a 25 point hand. My hand is also a 25 point hand. So if, if my tile goes down, I may or may not declare. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Green dragon. Okay. Two so dragon. there's a winning hand. Let's use the seven, the, the dragon up here or the joker up there. That will be a pure hand, which will be a higher value hand. Okay, we're not ready on that hand up there. This hand down here, the year hand, is ready to win on a two crack, and it will be pure, so we'll get double value, no jokers. And that will win over their single win right now, which is a 25 point hand. Okay, we don't want that. There's the seven dot. Okay, now we're two away from a double Mahjong. We need this seven, this joker over here with our seven. There's only one, uh, there are two white, there are two white dragons. Uh, let's see here. The d white dragons are down. So let's see, they have two out and we have two in hand. So we're not going to get that white dragon. So this seven has to be our Kong. Let's see here. Nine dots. Yeah, we're gonna, oh, there's a green dragon. Okay, let's get rid of the five. They have two white dragons out. We have two in hand. So we never would have gotten a pair there. So the seven crack, there are two out. Six let's have that be our, uh, let's see. We do not need a Kong there. Let's get rid of the white. White. So we need we need a, a green dragon and a seven dot here to get ready. We're not in the end game yet. We're still in the middle game, but they have one win out. Three characters. Technically, I have a winning hand down here, but I want to see if I can get it pure. Huh. But it's getting a little dicey, and now they have a three. They have a three five. They could they could have that two, three crack. Let's get the Joker. Three characters. Okay, and they probably have the two crack. I think they're playing the first run consecutive run hand. In which case, they need a pair of two cracks. We are. Let's see. We're not ready to win yet on that. I'm not going to take that. Five because I don't think we're going to get the two crack. I think they they probably have the two crack, which means they're never going to get that winning hand because they need a pair and I have three. I think that's the only hand they can be playing with a, a pung of threes and a Kong. They may, they may pung that. Four characters. If they pung that, then I know they're not going to win that second hand. They paused. I think that's what they're Four doing dots. there. So all we need really is the seven. We need a seven dot or a seven. or a um, or jokers because there are two green dragons out now. So Four right dots. now we've got to get seven dots and jokers. Five dots. There are two seven cracks out, so we have no flexibility there either. We've got to get those seven dots. 
We need Joker. jokers, basically. So they're waiting on pairs now. One, uh, one crack. They, there are two one cracks out, but they're never going to get the twos. We have them here in our hand. So we can now pick and discard and just wait. Let's get rid of the red. Doesn't really matter. We just need to wait for the seven dots and uh, jokers at this point. And I'm, I'm in no rush at the moment to declare a winning hand because I know they can't win that second hand. So we're just going to wait for seven dots. Hopefully, hopefully we will um, be picking them and they won't be discarded because we're not ready on a concealed hand. So this is an interesting dilemma at this point because I know what hand they're playing. It's a dilemma for them. It's a good thing for us, though. This is one of the nice things about knowing the card because you can identify what hands your opponent is probably playing and you can either relax or expedite your hand or what have you based on that knowledge. Nine bamboo. But, of course, we're all going to be getting the new card very soon. We're all going to be on equal level playing field again. Club. Need, yeah, we're, we don't have to worry about any discards Three right dots. now. So we have three more picks each. Three characters. Still waiting on the seven dots. Eight characters. Four bamboos. Bamboo. So I'll declare Mahjong on my last pick. And it'll be a tie, basically. Unless we get the sevens. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's unfortunate because now we would need two jokers. And I seriously Nine doubt dots. we're going to draw two jokers with our last pick. Nine characters. Nine bamboos. South wind. So we'll mahjong now. And discard to end the game. Six so it was a tie because we both have a 25 point hand and there's the two right there. And that, yeah, they were waiting on the two which we had. So it was a tie. So we get our chips back. That's what happens when you have a tie. Okay, let me know what you thought about that game. That was kind of different. I don't think I've ever had that happen before like that. All right, let's go ahead and join the game. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Now, I I think that the result what when playing one hand at a time in that particular case was you know not that much different, but I really felt the urge to build up that other hand. I mean, things happen at the table where you could claim discards, you could uh, make choices on discards that maybe don't fit the first hand. I personally like playing two hands at one time. Let me know what you think about that in the chat. Do you play two hands at one time? Or do you prefer to play one hand and then focus on the second after you get one winning hand done? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. I'm not sure what happened there. I won I won points. Oh, hi Judy. Yep, I got my charm on right there. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Look at all these flowers that we have here. I think um we should leverage those flowers. We could play maybe a a hand with a kong and a hand with a pair. Let's see. One Maybe we could play, maybe we could play a, um, 
seven five twelve in addition hand. Let's see. Oops, wrong one. Seven five twelve. Let's um four five six two four six eight five. Let's give up the five. I, I try to discard as quickly as I can because I do not want the game throwing away one of my precious tiles. Precious. Precious. Four characters. So I think, uh, I'm, I'm thinking 2468 or a year hand. In that case, I don't think we really, let's go ahead and get rid of the, the wins. I'm thinking 2468 and then a like number, a, a addition hand, 7512. It's a little light. But we do have all these flowers and a 12 and a pair of sevens. All we need are fives, really. And then down here, we could play two, four, six, eight. We do still have some year potential. Anytime for 2018, anytime you're playing a year hand or a two, four, six, eight hand, you could also play a year hand and vice versa. And we do have a pair of one cracks. Eight dots. There's a joker. That can help. So we need to make a choice here. I think we should focus on two, four, six, eight. We really don't need those nines no, though. Not. They're kind of a sore thumb at the moment. So Katie says she plays two hands at once. Yep, okay, when you don't think you could handle letting towels go. I, I think I agree with that. We can get rid of this three. Nine, so nine. we're in between a year hand and two, four, six, eight. I think it's stronger with two, four, six, eight. We could play, yeah, because I was thinking of the second year hand, but we don't have one BAMS at the moment. So I'm really thinking that a two, four, six, eight hand is good, maybe even a pair hand, Three in which dots. case we could use this down here. Get rid of the ones. We could hold the one cracks as joker bait and play a two, four, six, eight pair hand. Okay, there's another two. We really don't. One, two, one, two. Let's get rid of something. Let's get rid of let's get let's get rid of the four bam. Because we could play one, two, one, two concealed pungs. One, two, one, two concealed pungs. Or the two, four, six, eight pair hand. We're kind of in between. I think we could get rid of the four. There's a two. Let's get rid of the four. I'm thinking one, two, one, two concealed pungs. These eights look good for the 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 two, four, six, eight pair hand. Win. The sixes are a weak. Oh, now the eights we can get rid of now that we got. Oh shoot, I accidentally threw eight that. Bamboo. We need a we need a six dot now. I just got rid of that uh, eight dot. I meant to hold it. Okay, so one, two, that one, two concealed good. pung hand. This two, four, six, eight pair hand is really coming in. Let's go ahead and play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. We have a gap with no six dot. That is a really big weakness. East wind. We need a six dot to get really comfy with this two, four, six, eight pair hand. Let's get rid of the white. White dragon. Oh, one, two. One, two, oh, the three and the nine. I think I only had one three dot though. One, yeah, th that could have, that, that had equal potential, Chris, I agree. I don't, I didn't really see it at the time though. I want to, I want to hold out though for this one, two concealed pung hand. If we get a one dot or the two dot, oh, we have so many tiles here though. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, one, two, one, two. I think we should go for, let's go ahead and focus on the pair hand. One this is a little risky because we have a gap with no, no six dot. We could always play the first hand one under the year category. The addition hand is set. 
We can we can make Kongs out of the seven five. One dot. North well, I want to, I, Judy, I want to leave my two crack there because I might still switch to um, maybe nine. even a consecutive, the consecutive, or not consecutive, the concealed hand. If we can get a red seven dragon, nine. I'm. I want to keep that two crack. But yes, that will not be used in the pair hand if we can get that six dot. So I'll just set it to the two side numbers. just so it's not so confusing. We don't need that three, but it is consecutive. We do have some two, three, four oh consecutive run capability in there now. If we don't get the six dot, we need a fallback plan. Four we could even do one, two, three Kongs. That might even one, be two, stronger. Two, three, four Kongs or one, two, three Kongs in one suit. That might even be better than the Seven pair hand, characters. but there are no, there are there are no six dots out right now. Three so this two crack is a good fallback at the moment. We need that six dot, but it's a gap. I'm kind of thinking if we play two, three, four kongs as a fallback if we don't get that six dot. We can get rid of the ones, but oh man, those would be good to leverage with a one, two, three Kong hand. That would be the fifth hand down. We got the six. We got the six dot. We need an eight crack or a six dot to be ready to win on that pair hand. If we could get red dragons, yeah, we could play the um, consecutive dragon hand. Although I think I threw the fives. I did. I threw five cracks. Since we got the six dot, we have no gap. I think we should go ahead and push this pair hand. We need an eight crack or a six dot, and neither are out. And the five seven bam that we need, neither are out. So it's looking good. <clears throat> and this is building two hands at once. To me, this makes more sense and it feels better Bamboos. to me. We are ready on a pair hand. We need a six dot Bamboos to win. Character. If the six dot is discarded, I will take it. And, and the uh, addition hand is set, so it's looking real good, and we're still in the middle game. So this was a, a real good start here with these tiles. I think the, the choices were pretty solid, except for that gap that filled in, luckily. That was a little disconcerting. Nine dots. Just because we're ready and set doesn't mean it's a done deal. They could be working on a double mahjong for all we know. Four bamboos. We got a keeper. Two characters. We're two away from a double mahjong. Green dragon. Now with double mahjongs, you can have exposures. You just don't want to declare that mahjong until your second is ready. That's the idea. You can have exposures. You don't have to be fully concealed. Okay, we got the flower. So now, why does that keep happening? All right, we're one away from double mahjong. Five characters. Three characters. Eight characters. Nine characters. So we have 20 more picks. Who knows where the six is? Eight 
eight dots. Okay, we've got a joker here. So basically, we're ready to win a double mahjong on a six dot. North wind. Two bamboos. That was odd. Two dots. Be careful not to click that mahjong unless you're really ready to win. That is a test, a test of your confidence or lack thereof. So be really careful not to click mahjong unless it is your winning tile. We, the, for example, clearly we do not need that north, but the game will throw that up because we are ready to win. That's just not our tile. And I have clicked that tile incorrectly. Major slice of humble pie when that happens. White dragon. Now we're kind of heading into the into the end game here. I need to start thinking about declaring this winning hand. They could be working on a double mahjong. There are no, yo, three greens are out. We're good. Green dragon. The six dots, they may be holding those six dots. I, 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 I think I would have expected at least one to go down by now. There are seven two seven cracks dragons. are out. There are no six dots out. Five dots. Who knows? Maybe they have a pung in, oh, there it is. Double Mahjong. So we held out, but I want to see how close they were because I was v getting very nervous. Uh, looks like they were a ways away though. So we, we got a double Mahjong on that one. So we have double value for both. Since I held out that, that addition hand, I did not declare that. So since I declared them at the same time, it's double that value for both hands. So let's see what they were working on here. Three, six, nine knitted, it looks like. Let's see, wait. Three, six. Oh, three, six, nine with dragons. They couldn't get flowers, or they were using the jokers as flowers. They did have a pair of six dots, by the way. Look at that. They had the six dots. She had my six dots and I had her six cracks. And then she was trying for the one, three, five, seven, nine odd hand. That hand, she needed the five bam. So we were holding each other's tiles. I had the five bam. She had the five bam. So those were not going to go down. So that was interesting, I guess. I guess I, and, oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's my Avertine bracelet. Is that what it's called? Avertine? Let me look it up really quick. I made, um, we, we had a conversation about how to break a losing streak and Judy was saying that, you know, um, maybe a stone would help for luck or some kind of a stone or charm might help. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's Avon. Avent aventurine 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 i'm not sure how you pronounce it but it's a crystal okay so let's uh let's join a table maybe the losing streak is over i think jamie jamie joy helped me maybe break that streak Although I was really struggling when we were playing Mahjong together this weekend. She came to visit and we were playing Mahjong. We were playing Royal Siamese head to head. Basically, each of us were playing four hands at one time. It was it, with two sets. It was really interesting. It was quite a ride. That's how I posted it on Facebook. I said, it was quite a ride. So let's see if we could get a player to play with here. 
Uh, Judy says the dragon over your shoulder is part of the of the plan. Yes, you're right. Let me just share that. This is my mom's dragon from her collection. I inherited her dragon collection. So I think he's one of the cutest, so I picked this one. He sits over my shoulder. So I'm hoping my mom is smiling from heaven on that. Does anybody have any questions about Siamese Mahjong? It really is a lot of fun. If you haven't played it yet, find a friend, learn how to play. I mean, you basically just play two hands at one time. There is some scoring and there, there is um, a lot of strategy around timing and when to hold out declaring a mahjong because if you if you declare two mahjongs at once you double the value of both hands so and you never know how close your opponent is um, many times over the weekend I we, we both had winning hands that we were holding out on because we were trying for double mahjong and when that happens you don't get credit unless those valid winning hands are declared you will not get value for them but it really is a lot of fun. It's very challenging. So I give kudos to Gladys Grad. She's the one who came up with the rules for playing two-handed against one opponent. And then she branded it as Siamese Mahjong. And then she and Slava worked together to come up with an online way to play. And that's what we're doing right here. This is through Siamese Mahjong, the Siamese Mahjong app. And all that information will be in the video description. So just click show more if you're on a computer, a desktop computer. Under the title, click show more. Or if you're on a mobile device, look for the little gray down arrow next to the title on the right. And that will open up that will open up the video description where you'll find information about Siamese Mahjong. A lot of people aren't sure how to look at the video description under YouTube videos. It's not, you know, always intuitive. So depending on what device you have, you know, that little gray arrow is a little hard to see on a tiny little screen on your mobile device. Oh, we have a player. Somebody new. Here we go. Let's see. I I, I forgot um, to look at her name. Elise or Annalise or something like that. Okay, here we go. So, shift key. And then click your tiles. I'm going to put bams on bottom with dots. Cracks on top. Get the lay of the land. Make a choice. Okay, I always like to build around multiples. Our multiples are six crack, green dragon, seven bam, one three eight in dots. Five, five, six, seven, eight, nine consecutive run. Five through eight. Okay, so I think we could do a five through eight consecutive run. And then we there's even an actual hand here. Well, with the use of the jokers. If we can get a nine bam, we'll have a hand here. Let's see. Five, six, seven. Eight nine six seven eight consecutive run five through nine consecutive run four five six seven eight there it is four five six seven eight pairs in one suit four five six Kong seven bam Kong eight dot that's kind of what I'm thinking there and then on top we could play one through five consecutive run 
I wonder if we could work in these green dragons though. Let's go ahead and just get rid of the winds. We really don't need those, so we can discard those first. Unless we pair up the winds. Oh, there's a flower. Let's get rid of the winds. It threw my four. I double clicked on that north and it tossed my four. Now we're gonna have to recover our four crack and there are two out. I totally double clicked on that north. I'm a little upset, but I'm not gonna go on tilt. I'm just gonna recover. We have lots of other choices. Here's a six, seven, six, seven potential. There's a flower we could use. Maybe up here we could play a 2018 year hand with the eights. Six, seven, six, seven, concealed pungs. And maybe a year hand. Let's go ahead and get rid of the four ban. We do have one, two, one, two, one, two, eight. We do have the makings of a year hand up there. Oh, this is when you would have to Kong. Let's Kong because we still have flexibility okay. there. Let's go ahead and focus on one through five. Let's get rid of the three. Because we could play I'm six, down seven, down. eight mixed suit Kongs. We could even just North wind. commit to that right here. Six, seven, eight mixed suit Kong hand, basically. So let's get rid of the seven crack. Seven All we need down here is a six crack and a flower for a win. And here we paired up, bamboos. or not paired up, we built up a three there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the six bam. So we have, six bamboos. let's see, if these dragons were red dragons, we could do knitted, one, two, three knitted, but they're not, they're green. We could use maybe the two here. Nine dots. Let's get rid of the five. We have no four. Maybe we could use that joker for the four. We could use the two cracks as joker bait. The green could be joker bait. Chrysanthemum. Uh, n n nope. I'm not going to take that for a win. We technically could win with that, but I'd have to use both. All these jokers would be tied up. Once you declare a winning hand with jokers, they're locked in. If we hold out, we could maybe leverage them in hand and move them around and exchange our own joker. The longer you hold out, the continue, you continue to have access to those jokers. Seven so let's see if we can work on that. Let's get rid of one, two, let's get rid of the one crack. Here I'm thinking we should maybe play the knitted hand. One, two, three, knitted. We would be leveraging most of our multiples this way. That hand is ready to win now. Five dots. Okay, we're set for the knitted hand and we have joker bait. We're gonna pung it. Pung. Okay, here we go. One bamboo. Nancy, I agree. I know exactly what you mean. Okay, so our knitted hand up there is set and our consecutive hand is ready to win on a six crack or seven ban. We'll see what happens. I'd like to do a double mahjong again. There's a flower, we really don't need it. Let's get rid of the two. We really don't need all these flowers. I think I wanna get rid of it as soon as possible because we're committed to this knitted hand. And incidentally, that hand is the second from the bottom under Nine consecutive dots. run. We need a one dot Kong. Oh, we have a two bam Pung. Then we have a, uh, we're ready on a three dot Kong Nine and then dots. a Pung of Green Dragons. Oh, and look, there's the two. That's funny. We don't need it and they don't either. Those are safe discards now. Oh, I need to get rid of this flower. Five Let's get rid of the flower now. Orchid. Three dots. There's a Kong. 
Come. Now we could be playing a couple hands there so right now. One character. She's seeking either the second hand under consecutive run or something knitted. So she still won't know what we're doing until we put out another exposure. We'll get rid of that. Two characters. So at this point, we're one away from a double mahjong. I want to hold out and see if we can do a double mahjong. We're still in the, we're in the middle game. We're in the middle of the middle game right now. So I think we have time. I could be wrong, but I think we have time. Six dots. Now some people like to hold out for a pure hand. They'll hold on to double, a double mahjong and start discarding jokers. But as I said earlier, you may, may have missed this. And I just Four discarded dots. a tile that's going to give her information. That's one of the hands that huh. is going to give her information because that, that could be one of the hands we're playing there. Six dots. Okay, what I was Four trying to get to here, sorry for the delay there. Um, if your opponent discards a joker, that is an indication they're ready on a double mahjong, or they could be waiting on a pair, but either way, it's dangerous. That is a red flag, and if you have a, a winning hand, you should seriously wow. consider declaring mahjong for that particular hand. So we'll discard that three. Three characters. We need to Kong or Pung something here to get ready for One double hand mahjong. Hand. So this is getting a little dicey. We're heading into the end of the middle game. White dragon. Nine dots. She only has one exposure right now, which is a little scary because maybe she's playing a pair hand. Nine bamboos. That's a safe tile, one I think. Character. None of our tiles are out right now. Five characters. South wind. I think uh, two more picks maybe and we'll be in the end game. Eight characters. Red dragon. Red first dragon. one, first red dragon out. There's a delay. She's got red dragons. There's no movement there, though. Oh, there's movement. I wonder if she has a winning hand she's got to make room for. You have to have the right number of tiles on your rack. Okay, so she wasn't quite ready. Red dragon. Okay, well, that was interesting. Red that red might red. give us more time if she contemplated on that red and then gave it up. Maybe she gave up on a pair hand. I'm not sure. Red dragon. Yeah, she gave up a, a pair of red dragons Three there. Characters. That was interesting. I'm not sure what was going on there. Nine characters. Three bamboos. Okay, we're in the end game now. I do have a winning hand if I just move one joker down. Five characters. Five characters. We have one discard, so we're one away from a double mahjong. Seven characters. Oh, that should be safe. One bamboo. There are three out. Seven characters. Oh my goodness. Okay, one out here. Eight characters. Five bamboos. We need a keeper. Goodness. Three characters. Maybe we're holding each other's tiles. East wind. Oh, uh oh, this is getting Six scary bamboos. here. This is where my stomach kind of starts to churn. Gone. Okay, two, four, six, eight, two suits. 
She needs two dots and eight bams. Two characters. Yeah, that's a safe tile. Six dot. Six dot is safe. She doesn't want the two. We'll get rid of the six. Six dots. Yeah, she's playing two, four, six, eight, second, uh, the second hand from the bottom. Two dot and eight bam is what she's needing. And there's one two dot out. I just don't want to draw it because then I'm going to discard it. We're ready on it. We're one away from a double mahjong. Seven dots. Oh, my goodness. Four bamboos. I just wonder. She can't have both our all our tiles in her hand. They've got to be in the wall. I'll throw the two. two We're going to have to discard a joker here. I mean, a, dr a flower. Oh. Seven characters. Seven I need to get rid of this flower. Oh, no. Oh, that is a risky tile right now. Six characters. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to Kong. Kong. And I'm going to discard the flower. Now this is Love. this is risky. Oh, woo! Okay, we're ready on a double mahjong. We need to draw, or she needs to discard a one dot or a green dragon or a seven bam. There are no seven bams out. One dot. There it is. Double mahjong. And she's got the seven bam and the green dragon. So we were holding on to each other's tiles a little bit there. Denise, that's her name. Okay. Wow, that was, this is why Siamese Mahjong is exciting because whether or not to declare a winning hand and, and hoping to declare double Mahjong you just never know if you're going to get there before your opponent. So let's go look and see what she was working on here. She had five, seven, nine concealed Pung hand, or yeah, the concealed five, seven, nine with dragons. And her eight, I don't know why her eight is up there. She had a, uh, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see two. She had a winning hand. She was one away from a double Mahjong also, she needed the seven bams, which were in my hand, because she had she had her pair there. Wait a minute. Oh, she needed the green dragon. I had her green dragons, and the other green dragon was in the wall. She was ready on a double mahjong as well. I just got there first. So she held out, declaring the 2468 hand. You could see the eight bam in her other hand. If she had moved that below, she would have been able to declare that potentially, but maybe she was holding it in hopes for a double mahjong. All she needed was a green dragon to double mahjong once she moved that eight bam down. So I think this was a race to double mahjong and that's what you, you have to learn to observe discard behavior to determine the timing and whether or not to declare one of your winning hands or hold out. I hope that makes sense. Thank you, Peggy. I think we have time for one more game. One more game. Let's see if we can um, work on another bit of strategy. Another strategy that I've been thinking of is when you plan your two hands, you can play either one category for both hands and share tiles, or you can pick, I guess, sort of autonomous categories. So for example, you could play evens for one hand and odds for the other. Those are completely autonomous if you see it through to the end, because you can't use evens with odds and you can't use odds with evens. Now, some of these categories do share tiles. For example, 369 has sixes like evens. So if you're in evens in 369, you're gonna, you could potentially share sixes. If you are playing 369 in odds, you could be sharing threes. So I'm trying to see 
if there is a difference in the results of a game when tiles are shared versus when the categories are completely autonomous. Let me know what you think about that strategy. Did I miss something? Oh, <laughs> Judy. <laughs> Aventurine, it's A-V-E-N-T-U-R-I-N-E, Aventurine. Okay, oh, we're going to play against a bot. Shoot. Okay, so when you play against a robot, if you missed this earlier in the live stream, the robot does not have any defense. They, they're not going to declare any wins. So you're basically building hands against the wall. So you don't really have to worry about defense. You just build your hand. Um, and it's kind of like playing tennis against a wall, basically. You know, I mean, you could put spin on the ball, I suppose, um, if you're playing against a wall in tennis, but or racquetball or what have you. But um, when you play against a bot, there's no strategy. Like they just... Dragon. They just pick and discard willy-nilly. So we just need to pick and discard and build. So let's pick autonomous categories here. Let's play 2468 and odds. So I'm going to put all my odds up top. You know what, though? I see the potentials of a pair hand in here. 789 pair hand. Five oh, <laughs> I ran out of room. You can only have so many tiles on your on your racks. Okay, so I made a mess here. Okay, there we go. Let's see here. Okay, what's happening? Okay, uh, let's see. Red, we might be able to use that. Seven, eight, nine is below. Two, four, six, eight's at top, up top. So we're playing uh, big numbers and two, four, six, eight. The only challenge here is the eights are shared. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Where the eights are shared here. Here's a two. Let's let's see. We have two, four, six, eight all over the place. We don't need the seven. Let's get rid of the red. I'm thinking we could maybe, we can't play two pair hands with three jokers. We need to use these jokers. So let's see, we could get rid of this three. Let's see if we can make a two, four, six, eight hand work with these jokers. Or we could play like numbers with twos. We could play a quint. We could play a quint, two, three, two, twos. Let's play a quint with the twos. So a quint and, and seven, eight, nine, those are pretty uh, autonomous. Two dots. Two dot, we're gonna quint. Quint. Okay, now. Six characters. We can get rid of all these tiles here. I wanna keep the three, four crack and the four bam just in case I don't know I don't know which is gonna go down first, the two crack or the two bam. And we only have one joker. Obviously we need more jokers. But I'm hoping they'll come. The points accumulate. No um character. yeah, you, the points do accumulate, yes. So the points accumulate in the game between games, um, as you have your membership and you level up with your belt. Your belt basically shows achievement. It's kind of like martial arts. So every hand that you win, you accrue points and you level up in your belt. Uh, right now, I think I'm a green belt. West win. I'm a green belt with no stripes, I believe. Let me see. Seven bamboos. I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, we got a keeper. We finally got that nine crack. We need an eight crack. We've got we've got gaps. West wind. Oh look at we got the two. 
Okay, we can quint the two here. We can quint the two, and if it does go down, I will likely take it for a quint. We don't need that. We can get rid of that. Now the 998, the 998 pair hand, we don't need the seven. We don't need, here we go, nine, nine, eight. Here we go. Most likely it will go like this. We need an eight crack pretty badly. We need an eight crack badly. Four dots. That is a gap. Bamboo. So she doesn't want, oh look, we got the two. All right, now let's rethink this pair hand. So we have nine, eight, pair eight, nine, pair nine, bam, eight. We have a Kong, pass on that. There's a five, we don't need that. I'm just wondering if we can switch to something else. Seven, eight, nine, mixed suit Kong hand. Seven, eight, nine, mixed suit Kong hand instead of the pair hand because we have a gap right here. Seven, eight, nine. We can we can claim a discard. We can claim a discard for the seven crack right now. Right here, seven, eight, nine, mixed suit Kongs. And this hand here, the quint is a is a mahjong right now. But I want to hold out for double mahjong. When you're playing against a bot, you've got all the time in the world. Okay, nine nine eight. We have to make a choice here. Since we're playing against a bot, let's go for the pair hand. Bamboo. I think I've I've uh, accumulated some good score tonight. So let's see if we can get a big hand with this uh, a pair hand against a bot. That might be a good way to practice playing pair hands, gaining gain confidence with a pair hand. Play against a bot, because you know they can't win. Gives you all the time in the world, sort of. So we need an eight crack. We have three eight discards, cards. that's what we want. We can just hold that. It doesn't matter. I just threw the eight dot though. We could have had that. Mm, we could have had that seven, eight, nine <laughs> Kong hand. Oh well. No, let's just keep going. Let's see if we can get that eight crack. Red dragon. Nine, nine, eight, nine, eight, seven, nine, eight, seven. We can get rid of the flower. One dot. We need that eight crack. There's one out, so we're going to have to one watch dot. that. I could use these jokers for the eight dot and go back to the seven, eight, nine Kong hand in mixed suits. East wind. Three dots. Let's get rid of. Did I already discard a flower? I think I did. We could get rid of, oh, yeah, we need to decide here. Six dots. I would like to play that pair hand. There's only one eight Red crack dragon. out, though. East wind. Oh, thank you for pointing that out. It kept moving it on me. Yeah, that, that's a winning hand there. Eight bamboos. Okay, you know, I think we should go ahead and give up on that. But there's an eight bam out. We need that too. We need the eight bam and an eight crack. Play the pair hand. We have two, we need two tiles there. No, I'm going to give up on it because we just got a, a, a pung of nine dots now. We can use this eight for uh, the joker. Let's see, oh, I got, oh shoot, I screwed up. Nine bam, nine bam, I'm gonna pass. Okay, I messed up. I messed up because I threw away the eight bam. I needed the eight bam. 
Green dragon. So now I have to fix it. So let's see here what we could do. I made a mistake. So we have seven, nine, seven. Let's play like numbers with nines. Seven bandits. We'll play like numbers with nines. If we get more jokers, we could play a quint. <laughs> North wind. Oh, shoot. I messed up. Okay, let's see. You played that pair hand earlier in Green one with the nine is. crack. Okay, so I think we should just switch to nines. One bamboo. The challenge with trying for a quint at this point in time, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of the nine bam. Because what nine we could do bamboo. is six, six crack, seven crack, eight dot, nine dot, six, seven, eight, nine consecutive, consecutive run. Oh, shoot. I'm moving all these tiles around, and it's not liking it. Pass. Okay, we got a flower. That's fine. Nine. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I was thinking six, seven, eight, nine, but now we have the flowers. We could still play like numbers with nines and flowers. I think it's going to be one or the other. There are two six cracks out. So I think we should go ahead and, uh, let's see, seven, eight, nine, eight bam. There are two seven eight bams nine. out. Yeah, I messed this one up. Oh, that's not declared. I can take a joker. Two does. Okay, so let's play six, seven, eight, nine and get rid of the flowers. Because now we can declare, we can take, um, we're just going to need jokers here. Either way, I was going to need jokers, whether I played like numbers or whether I played consecutive run. White dragon. We'll see what happens. We can get rid of these three tiles and be fine. Four bamboos. Five, seven, nine, mixed suits. No, that's not here. Not quite. Five bamboo. All right, let's see. What's uh, there's a eight dot is out. We could con that. Three dots. We got the nine bam again. I should have played like numbers with nines, probably. Nine bam. That's all right. We'll get the quint anyway. East wind. Oh look, we got that eight bam. <laughs> Wow, that's funny. Okay, so now we can go back. Now that I got rid of the flower, two, four, five, there are five flowers out. Five dots. Okay, pass. We really don't need the nine. Um, don't you need declare? Declare? No, in, in Siamese Mahjong, the game knows I don't know why it's different, but the game knows what you need. So there's no concern with you. You cannot define you cannot define a joker in Siamese Mahjong. The game has built in logic to know what you need. West wind. Oh, look at we've got the six now. Six, six seven, eight, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. There. We just need one more. We just need one more joker now. We just need one more joker here for our nine dot. The six crack we can claim. The eight dot we can claim. We just need, we just need a, a joker for, there's the eight dot. So we need one more joker and we can do a double Mahjong. Okay. So this will be a really good way to practice playing Siamese Mahjong, play against a robot, because you get the whole game to learn how to pick a hand, change your mind, uh, choose your strategy. You can practice strategy because you're not playing against someone who could win. You're, the robots will not win. I, that's the way it is right now anyway. Eight characters. 
They don't even take exposures, I believe. How do you call the bot to your so table? Good. They just come if you wait long enough. Okay, we have one, That's two, good. three more picks, and then I'll declare that winning hand on my last pick. I still want to see if we can get this winning hand, but they may be holding those tiles. Eight bamboos. Yeah, it is good practice. We got close, though, after my fumble North wind. with this hand. Six bamboos. Three dots. Ah, mahjong. And discard. Four dots. I almost forgot to mahjong. Don't forget to mahjong. Eight bamboos. So we'll get the dra dragon chips. Okay. I think that, that'll conclude our playtime at Mahjong Madness playing Siamese Mahjong. It really is a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a try. Let's go look at the bot's hand and I'll show you what I mean. See this? They just pick and discard. I believe it's whatever they pick, they discard. So you can see it's a hot mess. And they'll just hold any kind of tile in here. They had my six, my six crack right there. They have lots of jokers they were holding on to. I was never going to get that joker, the jokers. I have one, two, three. They have um, four. That's seven. There's only one more where it maybe was discarded. Anyway, so yeah, when you play with a bot, they can hold your tiles, not through defense, just by happenstance. So uh, let's see, you would think with so many tiles, the bot would get a Mahjong once. Yeah, they don't, the, the, the algorithm, algorithm, the coding, the programming, it's not set up for bots to play strategically or win. You're basically just playing to build your own hand against the wall when you play against a bot. And they are called bots, B-O-T, there's bot two, bots. You're welcome, Irene. Thank you, everybody, for joining me for the live stream. I hope you enjoyed the session. And as I was saying before, if you haven't learned to play Mahjong um, with the Siamese approach, give it a try. It really is a lot of fun, especially if you can't find two players for a four-player game. Or let's say that your group has six players show up one day. Play Siamese Mahjong at one table and a four-player game at another table and alternate so everybody could play throughout the day instead of sitting out. That's one way that my group does it if we have six. Instead of playing two tables of three, play a table of four and a table of two. So it's up to you, but I encourage you to do it. It really is a lot of fun. Um, thank you, Katie. And again, thank you everybody for joining me. I appreciate the comments, the camaraderie. I appreciate uh, the company, the friendships that we're building in the community. It's been so much fun meeting people. So um, I'm just really grateful for the way things have been going with the channel. Thanks for being a part of it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up some kind of insight to the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.